Hey guys, welcome back to another video with RGU Martial Arts. Today, upon the request of many people, I've decided to make a video of a stretching routine which I do every day that I've been using for my Kyokushin Karate training to improve my splits. So the splits by itself should not mean that you are a flexible person. That's not the only sign of flexibility. However, a lot of people use it as a important benchmark to showing flexibility. But there are also lots of other concepts that need to be understood, such as mobility and just your stability in general. So I will be showing you a few of the routines today that I do every day or at least three to four times a week to kind of give me that edge in terms of flexibility and mobility, which also really help towards getting that flexibility to get into the splits easily. I hope you enjoy today's video. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to come into our first stretch position. So it's gonna look something like this. You wanna make sure that your legs are at a 90 degree angle and that your back leg is fully stretched out and facing this way again in this 90 degree angle. Your body is straight, you're going to be facing this way, all right? So we're gonna hold this for about 20 seconds. The next position is to slightly switch it out and again, be in the same position, have them stretched out, but your foot is going from being 90 degrees to pointing in a little bit, all right? So now you're gonna feel the stretch in your calf, really targeted, all right? Hold it again, feel the burn for a little bit, and the next step is to switch into having your ball, the balls of your feet basically touching the ground. And now you're again like in a lunge almost, and you're just gonna hold this. Now you're stretching out your hamstrings, your quads. It's just a great stretch. From here, the next progression is to put your hand on the floor and bring the top of your foot down like this and just stretch so you're gonna feel this through your leg all the way down to your calf but really focusing also a lot on your hip flexors next we are going to turn around as you see this is kind of also like a flow drill it works perfectly and we're going to hold this now a lot of common mistakes here is that people don't go all the way down they have their foot like this I know that's a matter of also flexibility and mobility but you're gonna try and bring your foot down and be all the way down. Really feel the stretch. So this is the correct variation. And your foot is active, which means it's bending towards you. All right. And now, again, flow drill. We're going to go up and out like this. So same thing on the other side. All right. So this like this. Hold it for 20 seconds. Then you're going to switch facing inwards. 20 seconds and switch the balls of your toes and switch foot down so i'm not i'm not holding it for 20 seconds because i don't want to bore you with the details but you know that's what you'd have to do all right and we're going to switch again okay and we're going to hold this all right so once you've done this the next thing you can do is from this position this side stretch is you're going to Hold your, try and do this without your hands, but at first, if you need help with your hands, you can use them. So we're going to go one, two, three, and so on, for as many as you can. And it's great to strengthen, at the same time, mobilize your legs, all right? Okay, from here, now this is where it gets difficult. But like I said, we're working towards your split, right? So we're gonna bring it as low as we can, right? So somewhere around here, if you're more comfortable being higher up like this, that's also okay, as far as you can go. You're gonna come down, bring your thumbs, all your fingers here, and we're gonna do split push-ups, all right? So try and really feel it. You'll feel it in your glutes and your hips opening up, and you're gonna go down and up, down and up. You can do it faster, or you can do it slower based on your level. Down, up, all right? Okay, so we've done that. Next step is to get into the splits, all right? So again, this might look just like this for you. It might even just look like this. I'm just showing you what I can do, but you will have to adjust it to your level. So next thing is we're gonna face the right way. We're gonna stretch out both the back leg and the front leg. A common mistake is to do this. Try to avoid that as best you can. Come like this. And now the next stretch is to go forward one, 
two, three, four. All right? Now, once you're done that, do it like 10 times. I'm gonna switch and do the same thing on the other side. One, two, three, and 10. All right, 10 of those. And now is when you actually get into the splits. Again, I will repeat myself by saying it does not matter whether right now you are here or you're all the way in your full splits. Do the best of your abilities because that's how you're gonna build up to it, all right? If you wanna get the splits, you have to do the splits. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna hold this now for a second. Next step, what I like to do is kinda hammer on your inner thighs, loosen up those muscles, relax them a bit. They're going through a lot. <laughs> And now you're going to reach out to your right side, both hands, and make sure your legs don't give way. So if you see them coming back like mine just did, adjust them again and go to the right. Four, five. And then you're going to switch to the other side, left hand and then right hand from above. Sorry. One, two, three, four, five all right so you've done that and now you want to basically go forward so the thing with going forward is it's easier if your foot is going down like this right see my foot but you want to try and keep them up so again get in your full split and pedal your way forwards they might lean down a little bit but try and keep them up as much as you can and just lie down Okay, so this is one of the best ways to open up your split. It might be a bit torturous, but try your best, okay? And if you're just here at the beginning, it's okay. If you're here, it's okay. But try and pedal your way down, all right? Okay, so that's your basic beginning split progression. Next step, you're going to bring your feet together. This is a common stretch. This is your front stretch or your front bend, your forward bend going to keep your feet active so in front and you're going to calm down all right now I'm okay with just doing it like this trying and coming down all the way if you want to make it more challenging you can keep your back straight reach out and come down with your back straight all the way that really makes it much more challenging but okay this is the basic progression thumbs your fingers and your thumbs and you're gonna go down all the way okay you're gonna feel the stretch in your calves, even your hamstrings and your quads, all right? Okay, after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a single leg forward bend. So the other leg comes in like this and you're going to go forward, one, two, three, four, five. As many as you feel necessary, switch and do it on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And now from here, you're going to come into a butterfly so this is another excellent way to open up and build that flexibility so try and push your legs down like this just gonna flap a bit and if you have a partner a great exercise that's very challenging is to have them step on it and just stand on top of your legs so they're forced downwards and again the way to make this easier is to spread your legs out and make it harder is to bring them closer and closer. That's the full flexibility. And again, you want to make sure your back is straight throughout this exercise. Okay, and then at the end of this routine, you come up and one very, very important thing that you cannot forget is to always rotate your hips after doing these stretches. Okay, so just rotating in one direction and then rotating in the other. This is something I have no idea how, but one of my senseis once started doing this and after all the stretches, and he's the first one to teach me this, and it really helps because otherwise you often feel this kind of pain or stinging, but this hip rotation eases it and makes sure that you don't go in somehow and injure yourself after doing these extreme stretch exercises, especially if you're gonna be sore the next day and it really, really helps. All right, guys, so that was my basic stretching routine that you can do every day. You can do them anywhere, anytime. And I think this really helped. A lot of people ask me, how did you get the split so fast? It was basically just continuing to do these every single day and not stopping and really just doing everything to kind of stretch and open those up, you know? It's, it's not cool not to stretch. 
Uh, and I think uh, this is just one of many routines. And I think you can try this. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, click that notification bell for weekly notifications of my videos. And thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to share it. I will see you on the next video. See you guys. Thanks.